What? So the plan today is after we have some breakfast burritos <laughs> is to head up to Canada and go exploring. We'll be surprised if we make it. We've got a couple dead batteries and a lot of commotion going on, so yeah. we'll let you know. Custom. We're in Canada! We're such tourists. Oh, but look at that, man. I've We're never How been... often are you going to get a picture of that? We're such tourists. We, we made, made it to Canada! Canada. <laughs> oh my god. Even their bathrooms are polite. They have picket fences. Look! They're so cute. Look. In typical dad fashion, he is dad boozled us. We're supposed to be heading to the Prince of Wales Hotel for some high tea, which is that place right there. But instead, he suggested we do this. Made it to Bears Hump Trailhead here in Alberta, Canada at the Waterton Lakes National Park. This is a 2.4 kilometer out and back trail. Adam's gonna leave the mileage down below because we're in Canada and using the metric system. Clearly, I am very unprepared for today's hike with my Uggs and my jeans, but you know what? We're gonna do our best to show you this beautiful hike that we've never done, so let's go. Didn't make it very far, it started raining. So we're going back to the car. And heading to the Prince of Wales Hotel, where we'll be enjoying some high tea in the Royal Steward Dining Room. Taken from the British tradition, high tea is served from 12 to 4 p.m. with a variety of teas, sandwich squares, and pastries. I feel very out of place here. Yes. <laughs> this is theft proof tea. Okay, really, what am I missing? Tea. Oh, we already used our tea. Just be more tea. More tea is more tea bags? I don't know. Thank you. Ow. Okay. Oh, it's amazing. I can't even really describe it. It's supposed to be a blueberry tea, but it's sweet because I added the honey. It almost tastes like the normal tea. It's very rich. That's all I can say. I'm not usually a tea person. Next, they brought out a three-tier serving tray. The bottom tier had amazing sandwich squares, and the top two tiers had delicious pastries. <laughs> he hit he hit it better than you did. <laughs> Did not like zero out of five stars. Gooseberry. <laughs> no. <laughs> so maybe high tea isn't something for us. From where we were sitting though, we were able to look out over Waterton Lake and at least enjoy the spectacular show from Mother Nature. That was quite the experience. We have never done a high noon tea before and we felt <laughs> quite out of place. So out of place. We didn't even so, put the spoon on the thing. <laughs> yeah, so basically we didn't really know what the etiquette was for high noon tea, but anyways, we figured it out. We had the wild blueberry rooibos tea, which was so good. Unfortunately, they didn't sell it at the tea shop, so I'll be doing uh -oh. some Google searching. And uh, those little trays of snacks were Insanely filling. Yeah, I'm about to explode right now. Now we're gonna go this way and then take a look at the view and head into town before we meander back to the US and try to find a shower. Oh yeah. Much needed shower. It's been four days. Don't tell them that. Sorry. They might have smell of vision. <laughs> All right, let's In the future. Go, let's go check out what the view has to offer. Welcome to Waterton Lakes, named after Charles Waterton, who is one of the world's greatest conservationists by building the first wild fowl in nature reserve in West Yorkshire, England. 
Named after him in 1858, Waterton Lakes is made up of three lakes. The Lower Lake to the north, Middle Lake, and Upper Lake to the south. The Upper Lake stretches across the Canadian and U.S. border and is also the deepest lake in the Canadian Rockies at 135 meters. This lake is a part of the Waterton Lakes National Park, where the prairies meet the Rockies. A union between Glacier National Park and Waterton Lakes National Park formed the Waterton Glacier International Peace Park and became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1932. We were just there. That's where we had tea. There's Anna capturing the view. We're back from Canada. Mm -hmm. And not only back from Canada, we're showered. Oh, that was so nice. Not only showered, but the border crossing was very smooth, very easy. They let us back into the country with all this dirt. <laughs> and so after this wonderful shower that we just took, we're going to head back into Glacier National Park. And uh, that's really it. Yeah. So that wraps up this video here. If you like the video, you already know what to do. Like and subscribe. Yep. All that good stuff. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.